workbook, physics, who, physics, mechanics, lecture 16. Okay, let's uh, start. So, there we go. Okay, if you can write this down, we'll get started. Okay, you got that? Yeah? Yeah, so we're going to have a look at uh, work. Right. Okay, so in this picture, work is being done. Um, what things do you think we need for work to be done? So, you know, he's doing work. Yeah, we, we imagine we need a force. Uh, and what else needs to be happening then? A distance, yeah. Moving something. So, there's a force, and he's moving something. Uh, and there's a distance. So the force is usually over an area, you know, you're pushing or pulling something. Uh, anyways, um, we have a formal definition of work in physics. So when we talk about work in physics, we say the work done by a force acting on a body is the force along the direction of displacement multiplied by the displacement. So quite simply as a formula, it's just force by distance. Uh, w is work, F is force, and S is displacement. Now, it's very important. It's the distance in the direction of the force. Okay, so if I'm pushing this, it's the distance uh, force moves it. This is what we call in physics work. So you'll need this definition. <coughs> would be the units here of work if I use this formula? Newton. Yeah, the units are newton meters. But there's actually another unit we use called the joule, which actually is just a newton meter. So we say that one joule of work is performed when one newton displaces an object by one meter in the direction of the force. This is the same as, as you said, Siva, one newton meter. So we usually use joules as the unit of work. One joule being one newton over <coughs> one meter. So you'll, you'll need this definition as well. Maybe we'll close <coughs> the window, huh? No, no, that's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, All right. Looked you all with your coats on, so cold. Two sweaters, sweater and jacket.
Got that? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. So... Oh, I wait. Yeah? Uh, so here's some questions we'll do together, just to talk about. Where and what is doing the work in each of the following? So, uh, a mother lifting her baby up from the ground. Uh, so what is the, the force here? The mother. The lifting, uh, yeah, from the mother, yeah. And the distance? From the ground up, yeah. Uh, a woman pushing a large box across the ground. So what's the force here? The push and force, yeah. And the distance? Whatever, along the ground, yeah. Now, a man kicking a football, what's the force here? The kick. <coughs> now the distance. What's the distance? It's not actually. Yeah, you. If he kicks the ball, you might think it's the distance the ball travels. But it's not because once the ball leaves his foot, there's no more force. So the distance in that one is only the distance he moves the ball when it's touching his foot, which is maybe only a few centimeters. Do you get the difference? So, if he kicks the football, it's only the distance while the ball is touching his foot, not the distance after. Okay? A child hitting the wall. Well, the force is in the arm, but what's the distance? Mm, there's something. It's just it's hard to see. Yeah? Nope. Good try. What else could it be, you know? So, so when he hits the wall, there's sm small, small distance of his hand compressing. This is it. Okay. Because this is, this is the distance the force is being applied over. And a father carrying his child, what's the force? The force would be in his legs. And uh, what's the distance? Again, like the last one, it's the small distance um, his shoulders would move to, to keep the child balanced, you know. It's not the distance horizontally, it's the distance vertically. So it, it can be sometimes, my point here is it's sometimes hard to figure out the distance. You know, it's not, it's not obvious always, but usually for our questions it's obvious. Um, the last one was interesting, but it just wanted me to make the point that it's the force in the direction. Anyways, um, we can have a we can have a small problem if the force is not in the same direction. Now I left my writing pad at home, so this is going to be interesting using my mouse. So imagine instead you're pulling this block at an angle. But it's still moving across the ground, you know, like you're 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 dragging it still on the ground. Uh, there's a problem because the force and the distance are not the same. The force is up and right, but the distance is only right. So what what could we do perhaps to fix this problem? Yeah. So if we call that theta, what would this one be? Yeah, be F cos, oh, oh, oh. Uh, let's call it alpha, that's easier to write right now. Uh, F cos alpha. So it'd be F cos alpha multiplied by the distance. So you just, yeah, resolve into the direction of the movement. No big deal, right? Right, so here's a, here's a short question, and I think you could actually do it. So a woman pushes 100 kilograms, the block starts at rest and reaches one meter per second in five seconds. What was the acceleration? Okay, you know how to do that, right? Uh, what's the distance travelled? You know how to do that. What was the force applied? How do we calculate force? Yeah, what is it? Math by acceleration, yeah, yeah, yeah. And how do we calculate the work? What's the formula? Yeah, which we now have worked out from part B and C. And lastly, if she now pulls at an angle of 10 degrees, what's the only difference? Well, we have to now resolve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you a minute to try this. Now, actually, let me just open up another program here. Um, right.
Right, just take a minute to work this. I think you should have no trouble here. <coughs> One moment. Better. So you scared Lucas off last Friday. He's decided to stay in biology. Really? <laughs> well, he's not here. How's it going? We're getting the answer here. ready to see the answers? Um, you're making slow, steady progress. Uh, Cho, did you get the first part? The acceleration? Is that yes or no? No. Are you sure? Okay. Ziba, did you get the acceleration? Yeah. Okay, Cha, what yeah. did you get for the acceleration? What was your answer for A? I don't know. Ah, then it's a no. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a no, okay. <coughs> okay, okay. Ziba? Did anyone ask a third one too? Yeah. One over five, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let's have a look here. Now, I left my writing pad at home, so I'm going to try this. Let's see how it works. Okay, so, um, U, what's the U here? Zero. Let's see if this works. Japers. Okay, not bad. Uh, what's the V? One. The A? One zero point two. <laughs> oh, not at the moment. The T? And the S? Unknown. Let's see. Whoa. Yeah, nice. It's not bad. Alright, so uh, what formula will give me the A? 
Which one? V minus U over T. Yeah, that'll do it. So basically, you're using the V equals U plus AT. Oops, I wrote, accidentally wrote Y. V equals U plus AT will get us the A. So V is 1, U is 0, A we don't know, and T is 5. Nice. So, new line, A equals 0 0.2. Okay, are we all happy with that? Very huge. What went wrong? <coughs> what went wrong? Um, how do I make more space here? Yeah, so the reason I don't like using this program is I have to now delete all of this to continue. So you all wrote A equals 0 0.2. Yeah, okay, so what's the next part? What was the distance? Oh, well, that's getting the S from here. So what's the best thing to give me the S? Oh, uh, okay. S, S equals U plus V over 2 times T. And we know the U, we know the V, and we know the T. Okay. So, S equals... What's U? Zero, is it? And what's V? One. And T? Five. So what do we got here? Two S equals 2.5? Is it? Yeah. What? Oh, I wrote new linen instead of new line. <coughs> okay. We have 2.5 for S. <coughs> Let's scroll down a little bit. Come on, dudes. Ah, here we go. That's better. Can, I, can you still see it if I just put a normal size? Is this um, this still readable? Yeah, okay. Right, what's the next part now? Um, what's the force? Oh, that's okay, isn't it? So that's just F equals MA. What's the M? It's 100, isn't it? And the A is 0 0.2, yeah? So that is 20 newtons? Great, okay. And what's the next one now? Um, what was the work? Okay, so let's calculate this. So work equals force times distance, which equals 20 times, what was the distance? <coughs> we got 2.5, which equals, is it 50 joules? Is that what you got? Yes. Yep. Okay, and lastly, if it was at 10 degrees, what would be the difference? Yeah, so work equals force times distance times cost ten degrees. <coughs> Excuse me, missing dollar sign. Okay, so that's equal to d d d twenty times two point five times cos of 10 degrees, and what does that equal? Like 48 or something? Okay. 49, 49.2 joules. Distance. Did you write FD? Yes, fine, yeah. Okay, is that example okay? Yeah. This is up. Everybody can read this. It's okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, there is another factor to consider. Uh, so, why does standing on one foot feel more difficult than two? 
Why is this harder on one foot than two? Center of gravity, yes, will be affected. But I suppose why does this feel harder in your foot? Has your weight changed? No. No. Okay. Yeah, that's the key difference. Your weight is now at one point instead of two. So what? Okay. Yeah, we have some concern about the surface area. So what thing in physics lets us talk about force and area? Think about force and area. What thing puts the two of them together in physics? Yeah. What's the concept in physics? Yeah that relates to this, where you have force and area and you care about the two of them together. I think you no, no, no. I think you know this. What about if I said... Pressure. Pressure, yeah, okay, you got it, yeah. Come on, next page. Goodness. There you go. Pressure. Pressure means how much something is pushing on something else. So mathematically, uh, well, actually, you know, Andek, uh, what's the formula for pressure? <coughs> I think it's either force over area or force times area. Make a choice. Which do you think it is? Force over area. That is correct. Pressure is force over area. Uh, P is the pressure, F is the force, and A is the area. So when the ballerina stands on one foot, what has she increased? She's increased her pressure on her foot. But she hasn't changed the force. Her weight is the same. It's only the area that's <coughs> changed. On deck, or anybody actually, if you look at the formula, what's the unit? <coughs> Have a look at the formula. So, what's the units for pressure? Uh, not quite. What are you going to say, Siba? Uh, oh, nearly forgot <coughs> one word, just one word was missing. No, you said that <laughs> one word was missing, you forgot to add in a word. No? Newton per meter squared, because it's divide, yeah? So the units are uh, Newton per meter squared, but we actually use a unit called Pascal, which means the same thing. So we say that one Pascal is one Newton over one meter squared. So it's the same as one Newton per meter squared. That's a Pascal. It is, I think, the same as the triangle, yes. I think so. It's not like Pascal's a very common name, you know. It's not like, oh, well, that was my other buddy. Uh, Pascal who studied physics. I'm Pascal who studied triangles. Okay, continue. Yep. Uh, right, so we're back to the same story we had a moment ago. The only difference now is I tell you how big her hands are. So her, her hands are one set, her hands are each 100 centimeters squared in area. 
how much pressure? So you can use the answer from the last question, which we still have here. Uh, not, not the last one. Uh, we'll keep it no angle here. So There's only an extra part now. I want to know what's the pressure in her hands as she's pushing. What pressure does she feel? <coughs> so uh, you have the area. Now there's one small problem with the area. You'll need to fix. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So make sure they are meter squared. Yeah, that was less than one week one so long ago. To this? No, to this? Oh, yeah. No, 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 don't do this. Don't, don't do it this it way. Right. No, I don't want it this way. I want you to do the way I showed you. So how big is the centi? Mm -hmm. Zero, yeah, 0 0.01. Alright. Yep. <coughs> how did you convert it, Siva? What did you type in to convert to meter squared? A zero huh? What did you do on that to convert? I did it to Which is what? I did the photo. over one. Three weeks is a long time, huh? <laughs> shall I refresh your memory on how to convert? Yes? Yes? I think I shall. So, um, 100 centimeters squared. <coughs> that is equal to 100 centi squared meter squared. Now, how big is the centi? It's uh, 0 0.01. So you can get a hundred centimeters. <laughs> there now. That should fix you. There now. So you got a hundred centimeters squared is a hundred centi squared meter squared, which is a hundred times zero point zero one squared, because that's a centi meter squared. Uh, so what is that equal to? Uh, so a hundred is, is that zero point one? Is that correct? Is that a hundred times zero point zero one squared? Is that? <coughs> It's I'm wrong here. Yeah, it should be zero point zero one two four yeah. Okay. You forgot that, didn't you? <coughs> now, on to the next part. So uh let's get the pressure equals force over area. What's the force here? I think it's 50, wasn't it? And uh, what's the area here?
So what do what number do I put down here? Do I? Do I really? Let's have a read the question again. You uh, you must start by two. Mm, gotcha. Uh, two times zero point zero one. Now uh, what the heck is that then? So twenty five. Is it like two five oh oh? Yeah. Sneaky, 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 huh? Two hands? Oh, crazy, man. Right, next. Was it not 50 earlier? Oh, no, sorry. No, my, I'm sorry. I thought it was 50. The fourth earlier was uh, 20. Let's fix that. So that's 20, 10. Is that 1,000 instead? Yes. Which actually, we can clean that up a little bit. We can say that that's equal to one kilopascal. Continue? Yeah? Oh good, that's it. And uh, those questions, uh, you have them in your book. So not, not too difficult, right? I, I tried to make the questions a little bit tricky, but it's really just using the formula work is forced by distance. And if there's an angle, you have a cos theta in there. Are you cold? Will I close the window? No. Are you sure? Sick. Ah, you have a fever? You feel hot? No? Who else is contaminated now? Who else is sick? You're sick, yeah. But you're not cold. Do you want the window closed? Alright. Okay, okay. We'll be strong. Um, right, I'll let you try these for a few minutes. Uh, and while you're doing that, I'll have a look at your Moodle quiz and see if you add those answers in that. Uh, or alternative answers. I can close this guy.